Sclerosing stromal tumours of the ovary are rare, benign, affect young women or girls, and the mean age at which they occur is around 27. Sclerosing stromal tumours are usually unilateral. They may either be an incidental finding with no symptoms or they may present with symptoms such as abnormal uterine bleeding, abdominal mass or Meg syndrome where there is associated ascites and pleural effusion. Grossly the tumours are well circumscribed with a solid white and yellow cut surface and there is often central edema with cyst formation. And the size varies from as little as 1.5 cm to 19 cm across. Histological features of sclerosing stromal tumours include hypocellular edematous and collagenous areas with an abrupt transition to cellular nodules and the mitotic activity is low. Within the tumour there are hemangiopericytoma, that's rather branched, thin-walled vessels with a sort of staghorn appearance. Epithelioid and spinal cells are present and some cells may be vacuolated, resembling signet ring cells. The immunoprofile of these tumours is positivity for inhibin and carotenin, and negative staining for cytokeratins and EMA. Here is a low power view of a sclerosing stromal tumour. On the right hand side of the section is a cystic area. In the bottom part of this section of tumour, you can see that the area is edematous and hypocellular, and there is an abrupt transition to the cellular nodule above it. This is a higher power view of the edematous hypocellular area. And here is a high power view of the cellular area containing epithelioid and spindle cells and some cells that are vacuolated. And finally here is a thin-walled hemangiopericytoma-like or staghorn-shaped blood vessel.